Summer started off as one might expect, slow. The old lady at that farm asked me to deliver milk with a surprisingly short time limit. Of course, one of those milk lovers lived at the tree farm, which I could not access by the time I got there, and my quest was quite literally spoiled. Dawa implored me to make him some fish stew because he's too damn lazy to make it himself, and then a flying panda screamed at us. And so began the panbad extermination. They would all taste my wrath, and I collected their hides as trophies. No worries, I made it up to the pan bats by building the survivors a boombox. That would surely excuse my temporary genocidal rage. I greeted the giant bear with a present of honey, which he, of course, loved. Then I entered the martial arts tournament and came to the shocking realization that everyone thought I was blonde. Either the town had taken great artistic liberties with my hair color, or everyone was suffering from purple-yellow color blindness. And while I may have lost to an old man, I did get myself a sweet headband that would come in handy for my big test this season, fixing the town's water pollution. When I got to WoW Industries, I found Sam looking intensely at a broken pipe, the universal sign that a player character has to solve a problem before they can move. Lo and behold, a problem I did solve as the pipe got good and fixed for five seconds before a rush of radioactive water tossed both of us down the pit directly behind us. The foreshadowing was strong with this one. Headband firmly in place and with a knowing caterpillar as backup, we proceeded down to the deepest areas of the dungeon, only to uncover the Rat King. Apparently he was quite upset over what happened to his son and somehow blamed me for his death. Once the Rat King lay defeated, Sam rejoined me to see if everything was going okay. How these people keep their jobs is a mystery unto itself. I was then introduced to a strange robot named Ak. He had been detained either for being a robot, being a chef, or for having that mustache. Any of those reasons seemed just, but I decided to help him anyway. He required a new leg, but the broom and mop were not working. Only a conveniently located plunger would suffice. Then he needed help with his head. While a water bucket and flower pot were amusing, he really needed a cooking pot. Gotta stay on brand, right, Ack? Finally, since I had quickly become a one-woman public works department, I built an entire irrigation system for the tree farm. While this was a very difficult assignment, the boys over at the tree farm rewarded me by offering some of their wood. I firmly told them that I don't like them that way, and settled for taking a supply delivery instead. Which will lead us into autumn. Thank you for watching, and we'll see what Abigail gets up to in the next season.